So we're going to demonstrate the use of the Swiss seat. First of all, we're going to use the ends of the tubing or the straps. And what we're going to do is offset it uh, approximately about a foot and a half. And I like to run my fingers uh, through it so that I can hold it, stop it here, continue till we get the midpoint or to the midpoint. Which is our point right here. Now what we're going to do is with this in front of us, we're going to take this midpoint. I like to just tuck it underneath my belt and to hold it there. What we're going to do then is take these two lines. And we're going to take one underneath this way, the other one coming around this way. I'm going to bring these up and try to get them up high if possible. And then what we're going to do is take our attachment point right here and we're going to bring it up underneath around to this side and then up underneath on this side. Now again keep in mind that we want to keep these up as high as possible. We're now at this point. Then we just start to wrap around, wrap around, wrap around. Now what you'll see is that's why we offset the lines. You'll see because if we went out here like this and when we secure it, which we'll be securing a knot in front of but on the side, we're just going to simply knot this and then what we're going to do there is also knot the ends. And not the other end. And then lastly, with reference to the carabiner, we want to again attach to all the lines in front our carabiner so that we're connected. And that's our switch seat. And you can actually, with this Swiss seat, which I've done before, actually be lowered uh, down to the ground of the chairlift. So we'll actually secure you enough to be lowered.